In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your MEXC wallet address. If you're planning to send crypto to MEXC, then you will need your wallet address and it's critical to pick the correct wallet address and network because if you make a mistake, you will risk losing your funds. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice and I accept no liability for you losing or sending your crypto to the wrong address and if in doubt, send a tiny amount of crypto first. If you don't know what a wallet address is, then it's a string of characters used to send and receive crypto. Each address is unique and varies by cryptocurrency and will also vary if you pick a different network for sending your funds on. For example, if you send Ethereum to a Bitcoin address, you will risk losing your funds, so you must always pick the correct wallet address for your deposit. So if you want to know how to find your wallet address on MEXC, you will need to log in, then hover over wallets in the top right, then you want to click deposit. From here, you want to pick the crypto you want to deposit. You can scroll down the list or type into the search box at the top. I'm going to pick USDT. Some cryptocurrencies can be deposited on multiple networks. For example, with USDT, there are a number of networks, which you can see here. And it's important to check which network you are sending your crypto on. If you select the wrong network, then you risk losing your crypto. So I'm going to pick the TRC20 network. And if it's the first time viewing your wallet, you will have to press click to generate here. But as I've done this before, you will see my wallet straight away. So you should now see your wallet address for this specific crypto and network. If you change networks, for example, if I change this to the Matic network, you will see a different QR code and address. To copy your address, you can press the copy button. That looks like two sheets of paper to the right of your address. Alternatively, you can scan the QR code with a mobile device. If you're transferring crypto for the first time, it's always recommended to send a small test amount first, and it's always worth copying the address or using the QR code rather than typing it manually. Anyway, if you got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And if you're just getting started with crypto, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.